We did locate the plane as well, obviously, and it's, it's in several pieces. It's been destroyed. Crews recovered the body of a pilot after a fiery plane crash in Cumberland County. They say the plane was from a Knoxville flight school. It crashed in the woods near Hinch Mountain. That's southeast of the Rockwood Airport near Crossville. Reporter Cole Sullivan traveled to the scene of the wreckage so remote, deputies had trouble finding it. Even with a grid pattern search on ATVs and with dogs, it took the help of the Air Force tracking the plane's transponder to find the crash site. The foliage is so thick, it was very, very difficult to locate. Even when the, uh, the ground crews were up close, it was still hard to locate just because of how dense the, the wooded area was. The wreckage is about a half mile back into these woods. It took deputies all day to find it, and photos from the scene show the plane burned beyond recognition. It's in several pieces. It's been destroyed. The 911 call came in just before 9 o'clock Tuesday. A man says he was on the phone with the pilot who was having problems. Then he heard a crash and the line went dead. Crews from three counties searched for this single engine Gulfstream AA5 Tiger, seen here in a photograph from flightaware.com. The sheriff says it came from a Knoxville flight school, but did not confirm if the 35 year old Knoxville man behind the controls was a student pilot. The sheriff's office identified him as Vasily Gelan and said, our hearts and prayers go out to the family and friends. After a seven and a half hour search, Cruz recovered his body around six o'clock. Reporting from Cumberland County, I'm Cole Sullivan. The NTSB says an investigator is on the way to Crossville to look into what happened. The sheriff says the FAA will investigate as well.